I'm Larry Pacifico, I'm a gem and I do a lot of personal training. And your best numbers? Oh, my best numbers, uh, my, uh, 850 squat, uh, 610 on the bench press, and 820 on the deadlift. Okay. What got you started originally into powerlifting? I started powerlifting back in 1965. It elected me into their Hall of Fame, I think 1998. And, uh, you know, Bob Hoffman, who was this, you know, who started York Barbell, you know, way back in the 30s, uh, you know, really was supportive in powerlifting, and he promoted the very first world championships in 1971 in uh, York, Pennsylvania. And you know, he, he although he was uh, more instrumental in, in Olympic lifting, he saw the future, I think, in powerlifting. Right now, more countries participate in powerlifting, actually twice as many countries participate in powerlifting than Olympic lifting, and he's always tried to get it going into the Olympic Games, and along with the other people, Joe Weider and that bunch, but it's, it just hasn't occurred because they were there first and uh, it didn't seem like they want another event. But, uh, you know, I think York has been instrumental in uh, really getting powerlifting where it's at. I don't know if powerlifting can be in the Olympics uh, as an Olympic sport because of the controversy of over any sport that may have uh, steroids involved. You know, you know, they're looking for sports that don't really necessarily incorporate the possibility of use of uh, uh, athletic enhancement sort of substances and so on. So I think they're afraid of the controversy. I think what will get powerlifting into the Olympics is for it to all go back to raw. Uh, years ago, we were on TV a lot. In fact, I did color commentary for CBS, NBC way back in the 70s and early 80s. And I traveled the world and powerlifting was real hot in those days. And after later after I got out of it, uh, I called NBC on the, uh, you know, everybody wanted me to say, Larry, can you see if you can get our foot back in the door? They're not doing powerlifting anymore. And I called people at NBC and you know, people I knew and they said, Larry, we went out and looked at the contest and he said, we saw these guys putting on these shirts and putting on these suits and, and you know, this stuff shouldn't be illegal. It's never going to make the Olympics when the, when the shirt and the suit is doing more than the man. So I don't know, they have to, they have to get back to normal, uh, proper drug testing as, as uh, you would imagine, uh, get where equipment's just normal, uh, maybe knee wraps, uh, belt, and go out there and get at it.